Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of the presidential elections. Excuse me, sorry about that. <laughs> and my phone keeps going off, don't understand why. Oh, it's my group chat. <laughs> uh, anyways, today we're talking about the third presidential election. The election of 1796. So, this one is a little bit more complicated because, well, we have more than one candidate. And, uh, this was actually the first election in which there were actual parties of, like, there were two different parties of two different candidates. Or at least two different candidates. But the way how I have it set up for my notes is that I have pretty much the entire election information is that whichever candidate won or has the most of the electoral college, the whole all that information is colored that color of you know whatever party. Wow, they're back already. All right, so 1796. Uh, this election took place from November 4th to December 7th of 1796. The first candidate was the current Vice President of the United States and President of the Senate, John Adams of Massachusetts. He was a Federalist, you know, from the Federalist Party, which originally was, so, okay. So for America, there were eventually two kind of beta parties. There was the pro-administration and the anti-administration parties. The pro-administration would eventually turn into the Federalists, which in turn would end up turning into the Whigs, which would turn into the Republicans. And the anti-administration would eventually turn into the Democratic Republicans, which would then break into which will eventually split off into a bunch of third parties and eventually the, the creation of the current Democrat Party. So, just keep that in mind. So anyways, John Adams. He was a Federalist. He got 71 Electoral College votes. Uh, for the popular vote, he got 35,726 votes. And his running mate was... Thomas Pinckney. Yeah. Uh, we're not gonna dive down into, like, the, uh, information of, like, the candidates, uh, running mates, because that's gonna take too long, and I don't have time to do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm basic, but, I mean, you know. Uh, second candidate. The uh, first Secretary of State, Thomas Jefferson, from the state of Virginia. I mean, honestly, Thomas Jefferson, he was one of the most important people in the early stages of our government because he wrote the Declaration of Independence. He, along with John Adams, were two presidents that signed the Declaration of Independence. Uh... As we all know through history, he was the first Secretary of State, the second Vice President, and ended up becoming the third President, but we'll get to that later. Uh, so, Thomas Jefferson, he was a Democratic Republican. He got 68 Electoral College votes. So yeah, he, he was just short by like a couple between him and Adams. Uh, the popular vote was 31,115, and his running mate was Aaron Burr. You guys don't know who Aaron Burr is, right? Well, if you've been paying attention to any pop culture, you know, with the musical Hamilton by Lin-Manuel Miranda, which is a great uh, musical, it's on Disney Plus now, watch it, it's great. Uh, Aaron Burr is the guy that shot and killed Alexander Hamilton. Anyways, moving on. 
total number of votes needed in the Electoral College? 70. So, yeah. Jefferson was short by two. Adams was over by one. So, yeah. Total number of Electoral College votes was 138. Yeah. And the overall turnout was 20.1%. It went up 13.8%. Alright. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow for the last presidential election episode of the week. And uh, yeah, stay cool, stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, click on the circle to your right. If you would like to see the last series on this channel, click the square on your left. The last series done on this channel was the census. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.